Okay, so I did this solar pump installation a little bit over a year ago, and I'm just doing a video to kind of show what the system uh, looks like and how it how it performs. Um, I don't claim to be any kind of solar expert or anything. I uh, I read up as much as I could. I was always interested in solar. Uh, living here in, in South Florida, we uh, our electric bills are pretty high uh, in the summer. The air conditioner runs all the time, so anything that could help. Uh, on that electric bill, uh, which other than the AC, this is the, the thing that uses the most energy would be the uh, pool pump. Decided to go ahead and, and install a uh, solar pool pump. Um, first thing, you need to determine the size of the pump that you need. Now, I've got a fairly large, large pool. This thing measures uh, about 35 by 16. Uh, it's got large steps on this side. I've got a swim out over there and I've got a spa. I've got two uh, pickups, two skimmers. I've got the uh, suction line with the uh, pool cleaner. So it's it, it's a fairly you know large pool. Uh, so we determined that I needed a 1200 watt pump, which is what I got. Uh, first thing we needed to find out is where I was going to put the uh, the panels. This thing takes four panels and originally I was thinking of putting it up against the fence uh, but then after looking around for a while I actually built this pergola about 20 years ago and it's, it's in the perfect spot actually. There's no trees in the way and it's facing south. Uh, the panels are actually facing south so I decided to, uh, to install the, uh, the pergolas on, on uh, or install the panels on top of that pergola. And it worked great. It's actually giving me shade on the pergola, and it's, it's the perfect size. I did have to uh, reinforce the uh, the pergola a little bit um, to put the panels up there, but uh, that's where I decided to put it. And it's uh, been working great since then. Uh, the panels that I got are Ceneva mono panels, and let me show you the uh, the specs on it. These are our 285 watt panels. I've got four of them. I've got them hooked up in uh, series, um, putting out about 130 volts. And right now, I don't know if you can see it, uh, it's about 3.30 in the afternoon. It's putting out 8.2 amps and there's clouds that come and go, so it's gonna change. But that's pretty much what, they're, what it's putting out. Um, when I first installed these panels, I, uh, I put hinges on them, thinking, thinking that I would have to change the angle at different times of the year. Uh, but I found out that really, if you put them in, the, in a certain position that's the maximum position for the whole year, uh, you, I really didn't have to move them. So they're, they're on there. They've been on there like that for a year, and I haven't touched them. So I've got these hooked up in series and they go into this junction box right here. And from this junction box, I used a half inch PVC and it's about a 65 foot run to my pool equipment. And I'll show you what that looks like. After doing the calculations, uh, I could have used 12 gauge wire but just to be on the safe side, I went ahead and used uh, 10 gauge. And you want to come, come outside? That's Luna. Okay. So this is what the uh, pergola looks like from the uh, side. Here's the junction box. Here is the uh, PVC line coming in. Um, another thing about these panels is these are B-stock panels that I used, which means that they're new, but they might have like a little scratch or a little ding on them, but they're guaranteed to have the uh, same output as a new panel, and you can save a few bucks. They were actually $180 a piece. I've got them, got them here locally in, in Miami, a place called Sun Electronics. So I saved a few bucks there. Here is the run, and it goes right into this 
junction box, which basically that's an um, AC disconnect box that I got from Home Depot for about 20 bucks. Uh, it's got a 30 amp fuse in it. Then from there, it's flex conduit going to the uh, solar pump controller. This comes with the pump. The pump and the, and the uh, controller were about $1,200. And there's what the, uh, the pump looks like. It's a Chinese pump. Uh, it's called Jintai. And right now there's a cloud going over it and you can, you can hear it. It's, it's variable speed to brush this motor. And you can hear it slowing down right now. And that's the way it works. It, it, now it's going to wind up again. There goes the sun. You can hear it winding up again. Uh, one thing I like about this pump is how quiet this is compared to my DC pump or my AC pump. This is my original AC pump in the back of the 230 watt pump or 230 volt pump. I'm sorry. Um, the original installation was coming through here and going through here and back to the uh, filter and back out to the uh, to the pool. So what I did is I teed off on there, and that's where I installed the pump. Uh, when you install these pumps, you have to have one-way check valves to keep the, uh, the pump that's running from feeding the other pump or back feeding it. As you can see right now, it's winding up again because the sun just came out. You can see the flap is open on there, which is forcing that flap closed. Uh, the water's going back out to the filter and back out to the pool. This thing typically runs about 10 hours a day. Um, and like I said, depends on, on how much sun you have. Even on days when it's raining, this thing will run all the day. Uh, doesn't need any batteries, doesn't need a timer. The sun is my timer. Uh, doesn't need an inverter. And the whole system probably cost me, I did all the work myself, about maybe a little bit over $2,000. It should pay for itself and a little bit under two years. I'm saving about hundred dollars uh, a month on my electric bill. Uh, it just runs, it runs forever. I'm, I'm just I'm amazed at how good this thing runs. Yep, there it is.